welcome to another video. A TPO today. Again, according to calculations, we're just gonna, yeah. So, I am, I can't even grab my test. I am very tired this morning, but hey. So, ovulation test, pregnancy test, and we're also doing a pregmate. I found my pregmates. I found them, I had kind of like stashed them below the new ones and stuff, and I just realized that they expire. Uh, which one should I start dipping first? I'll start with the ovulation test and I'll just kind of keep going. Um, they expire on the 29th of June, so I don't have too many. <laughs> um, I'm pretty much through them, but I figured I might as well use them. I mean, yeah. I'm not one to waste a pregnancy test, <laughs> or ovulation test for that matter. So, pop ovulation test down. And my new pregnancy tests that are on the way uh, did not arrive. So they should be arriving today which is a bit of a bummer, but we're doing what we're doing, and yeah, <laughs> we'll just kind of see how we go. I mean, honestly, with the whole ovulation thing at this point, I don't know anything, so I don't feel like it'll make much of a difference. Cover yourself. I don't feel the need to cover ovulation tests ever. Does anyone do that? Do you cover ovulation tests? I don't know. I feel like ovulation tests is really no, I don't know. There's no point. And I forgot how chubbier the, the pregnant strips are, they're a lot chubbier. I will give them that. Okay, where am I gonna put you now? I'm gonna move, put you over here. They're a lot chubbier. One, two, three. And pop you down. Oop, you're going across. Cover yourself. Okay, setting my timer and there we go. So, what we're doing. It is a TBO today, according to a cycle day 12 ovulation. I feel like I need to say that again. I, I'm going to put ovulation test as well again today, just to kind of, you know. <laughs> uh, yesterday also, I did get a few comments telling me that um, ovulation tests put next to pregnancy tests can actually cause the test to the pregnancy test to be positive. Like they can make each other positive basically. So um, because I kind of touched them and showed you guys yesterday at that point. So I'm gonna keep them away from each other. I, I was tempted to try, but I feel that if I try and then I make the pregnancy test positive, then that'll kind of mess with me a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> other than that, I, I'm feeling kind of sleepy and tired. I wake up, so I go to bed quite late and I wake up early and that doesn't help. <laughs> I just, I wake up early and I feel like I wake up before I, like my body wants to wake up and it's kind of big. I will say, I know it sounds silly, I do. Ever since the time changed, like I was fine before the time changed. I was getting up at like seven, I was cool. I cannot get up before, like now maybe 7.30, maybe. I cannot, like my body is maybe now starting to slowly get used to the idea that, oh, okay, the time changed, but we're still, yeah. I feel like that should be a, a, not a thing. And Greece, Europe in general, was supposedly not gonna change the time now, this time around, but they kind of backed out of it or something. So, yeah, because <laughs> the days are longer, you know, everything kind of ends up later. Uh, dinner is later. Everything just, yeah. And we're out of sync in general because I feel like I'm happy to continue following the same kind of system of having like a seven o'clock dinner um, and then like showers, whatever, and getting ready for bed, chilling and whatnot. But the problem is everyone else around us <laughs> is in summer mode and summer mode here in Greece means nine o'clock dinners, if not later than that. And staying up until at least 11 for kids. Parents, usually later than that. So it's kind of killing me, just a little bit, just a little bit. I, I feel like my time in Australia kind of got me out of sync with the Greek summer. <laughs> or maybe just having children that need sleep and rest and need a schedule and a routine. I do thrive on routines and schedules and I thrive on knowing what's happening. I don't like having curveballs thrown at me and oops, I managed to somehow chat right through that. And I definitely, now in the summertime, I've been completely thrown off by pretty much everyone around us, not us as a family. That's, that's the thing. We live way too close to family for comfort. It's kind of like, it's good having people 
close by. <laughs> um, like, you know, short drive away or short walk away. But when they're right there, yeah, I don't know. Um, other than that, I'm not feeling anything else. Let's, you know, let's go back to our TTC because I can ramble on about so many different things. I'm probably driving you guys crazy. Um, I'm not feeling anything. Like, I'm not, I'm trying not to symptom spot really. I'm trying not to, you know, because the cycle is just weird. I'm just kind of going with it. I feel normal. <laughs> I feel, you know. So, we're going to look at our ovulation test and then we're going to look at our, either of our tests. Okay? Okay. I, yes. My head is, uh, I had some, there was some black mold on our window seals that I noticed. Now that I just said headache. And I know black mold can cause a lot of health problems. Um, and it's actually the first time it's ever popped up in this house. Like, I've never seen anything like that. So I had to get a special uh, spray cleaning thing. That was not fun. And clean that out last night. Um, so yay. Because I noticed that they thought maybe that's to do with my sleep and, you know, all that kind of, you know, waking up with headaches and whatnot. It is possible. It is possible. So, there's that as well. Okay. Uh... Ovulation test. I, for a moment, I forgot what I'm even doing. So, yeah. This test is just like, not even. Look at that. Look at that. That's as blank as, yeah. I mean, there's barely a shadow there. That's fine. It's what I said. Ovulation was not like, yeah. Like, I have had two surges before. The second surge is a very clear, <laughs> distinct second surge. This was, yeah, I think I just missed the peak, is what happened, in my opinion. Okay, pregnant and then one step, or one step and then pregnant? I think we'll do, we'll do the one step, the pregnant, no, we'll do the pregnant and then the one step. Yes? Yes. <laughs> I'm very decisive, can you tell? I, I can be very decisive, or I would say impulsive at times. Uh, I can just kind of think of something and I will dive into it. Or, if I give myself the time to think, then I overthink. And I can't make a decision. That's, that's basically me in a nutshell. <laughs> um, I, can, I can be quite impulsive if I like allow myself to not overthink. If I allow myself to just kind of go with my initial thought process. <laughs> um, and I'm not kind of, you know, thinking of my surroundings and other people. Uh, when I start thinking of other things, then, yeah. Okay. I am procrastinating, as per usual. I mean, it's ATPO. It's, it's early. We did so many things, okay? We need to be a bit more chill this cycle. Because I don't want to set myself up for, you know, disappointment in a cycle that's just generally a little bit all over the place. Okay? Okay. Okay. No, that is negative. I I definitely want to see a line. Definitely want to see a line more than, you know. But, um, no. <laughs> no. Okay, so let's grab our one step. Hello, Iris. Oh, what's your game? I know it's probably going to be negative. But at the same time, it's kind of like. I'm also feeling rather tired again. I think it's also a bit of an emotional thing. Okay. No, um... Oh goodness. For a second I was like... Yeah, no. Oops. Is it focusing? I mean, should I? Let's see, here I am saying I'm not going to put them together and then I'm just picking them up. And okay, I'm trying not to put them too close together. I just want to kind of. Because it's like. No. Yeah, no. I mean, I'm. You know, 
I could definitely convince myself that there might be a shadow on the one step, but I'm, I'm, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not nice. It's not a thing we wanna do. Okay? Okay. It's like when you reach a certain point of TTC, after a point, I feel like we have different mechanisms of coping, and some of us tend to just hope in the most extreme way until. AF shows up and then you know you kind of go again. It's a process. It's a process. Anyway, I I think that is totally negative. I'm gonna be on my way. I have a lot of things to do. I have started decluttering a lot of stuff that have been here for more than five years and I haven't seen in five years. Uh, yeah, I'm following the no mess decluttering method. If any of you have heard it from Dana K. White, I might even do a separate video on that actually because it's really, really interesting, because it's actually working. Anyway, I'm gonna go, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I, yeah. That's, that, that one step is playing back with me a bit. I'm, I'm gonna, no, no, I refuse. I'm gonna be happy and cheerful this cycle. I'm good. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.